My name is Robert Cosera. I'm a, a professor at UNC Charlotte, and I am on sabbatical this year uh, at Tableau Software. And my work here is on storytelling. And this is what I'll be talking about in this session, which will be uh, to teach you or to tell you what we've come up with and to teach you how to do these things in Tableau using the features you know from Tableau 7 and also some of the upcoming features you will learn about at the conference. So what is storytelling? Uh, something that a lot of people want to do uh, with data is, is communicate it to other people. You've got findings, you've got something that you want to tell the world about, and you have data that you have about that. So how do you, how do you get people to understand that data? How do you get them to take something away from what you're telling them? And how do you just make things more interesting? And uh, we're still working out how this actually works and some of the theory behind it, how to actually structure stories and so on. But I wanted to show you an example of how this was done in the past. And this is an example that's fairly famous. If you, if you know uh, Edward Tufte, you probably have seen this before. This is Minar's graphic, of, uh, graphic depiction of uh, Napoleon's march on Moscow. What this shows is this is roughly the border of Poland, uh, and the uh, the size of the army here is depicted by this this ribbon that's going uh, east to west, um, west to east of course from Poland to Moscow, uh, and the size of it, the width shows you how many people there were, how many soldiers he had in his army. He starts out with 422,000, and during this this uh, pass there going to Moscow, he he loses about three quarters of them down to 100,000 here, and then they're going back. And for, from 100,000 down to about 10,000 at the end is what uh, was the people that he lost. An interesting thing here is that there is a temporal uh, axis. There is time uh, as you kind of go along here. There's also space because this is actually a map. There are some rivers you can see here and, it's, uh, and some kind of reference point like Moscow here and a few other cities. Uh, and there's also temperature. So there is multidimensional data here that tells you something about how, what happened there, why, people, uh, why the, the soldiers were dying. But also, it lets you follow the, their course. So you've got a kind of a, a something of a structure that you can follow. When you have a map, you can actually do this fairly easily. But very often, you don't have a map, and you might not even have a temporal dimension. And so we're thinking about how to do things when, when that is the case. So to learn more about that, come to our session at uh, TCC 12.